The second type of selection is directional selection. This is where one extreme works well and one extreme does badly. And this would result in the trait moving towards one extreme and away from the other. So for example, if we had a field populated with mice, and this is a field of tall grass, bigger mice would tend to get spotted by birds much more often, and smaller mice would tend to be much more capable of hiding under the tall grass, and therefore would be better disguised than the bigger mouse. So the bigger mouse is more likely to die, and therefore the larger the mouse, the more likely it is to die. The smaller the mouse, the less likely it is to die. So over time, the mouse population would drift smaller and smaller and smaller, basically in one direction, away from larger mice and towards smaller mice. This was an excerpt from a longer video series where I'm taking viewers from any level of understanding up to a university level understanding on evolution. If you want to check that out, the playlist is in the comments.